My Hypixel Skyblock profile is only about 10 days old, but in that time I have already obtained over half a billion coins, most of that being in the last few days. And you might be wondering how I did that. It wasn't through mining gemstones and I didn't farm either, but what I did do was grind a ton of zealot bruisers while Jerry was mayor. Yeah okay, that was quite some time ago, but these videos just take a while to make. Also before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you could quickly leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It helps out a ton and you know maybe one day I can get that YouTube rank. Okay, there we go. Combat level 30. <laughs> I got combat level 29 earlier today. I got combat 27 and 28 yesterday. How much are shelmets on an insta buy? Because I want to put one on a tiger pet. I want that to be my DPS pet instead of my lion pet. Shelmets are 450k. Okay, I'll take that. Yep. And I need to get the tiger pet that I got for 1.5 mil. Pretty good price. I want that to uh, replace my current damage pet being the lion. Because, I mean, even though in single hit the lion is going to be better. In terms of DPS, the tiger is gonna be better. At least I think so. I'm 99% sure. How much do I sell the lion pet for? 640k. And then there's a level 63 with a spooky cupcake. There's a level 73 with a spooky cupcake for 1 mil. So I'll list it for 825k. All right, the spooky festival is gonna end here in 10 seconds. Can I just get a few more kills? Oh, I got a Jerry. Nice. All right, the Jerry to end it off. Let's go to the hub real quick and see if I can get anything cool. I do want the intimidation artifact. And I also want the bat artifact. Oh, but I need a bat talisman, don't I? Oh, but I can get that easily. That is so cheap. Wait, can I quickly buy a bat talisman? Wow, there's so much right now. Holy. Are they this much because it's spooky fest? I'll just buy one. But there we go. Bat ring and bat artifact. Nice. And now I also want to get the intimidation artifact. Let me get my intimidation ring. Where is it at? Now intimidation ring. What? They're not supposed to be that much, right? I feel like this is very expensive. Are they really supposed? to be this much all right well one mil intimidation artifact there we go i have that now let me also sell the rest of the stuff that i got there we go 12 mil from the spooky festival pretty all right and now the candy relic all right i have the candy ring right now how much is candy artifact that's gonna be 32 i can get that let me just get 32 how much is that 800k i can do that there we go candy artifact and now a thousand and twenty four oh god i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing this yeah no I, i'm not doing 26 mil. that's too much right now let me take out the bat artifact and the intimidation artifact and i'm gonna switch them out for i'll switch one out for the campfire badge and the wood affinity talisman sure all right it is now the next day and it's actually very late it is a little over 4 p.m and i only just logged on whilst it's literally a sunday so it's not like i had school or anything so yeah i'm kind of disappointed in myself that i only logged on just now but i do have something i want to spend some coins on real quick i want to buy a mythic enderman pet because if you didn't know they increase your chance to find special zealots so i honestly should have bought one at the start of jerry i think i'm gonna buy this level 71 for 55 million coins yeah i think this is my best option right now there we go that is a lot of money i just spent and i also do want to get an uncommon combat xp boost to put on it just so i can level it up 30 percent quicker there we go and i now have an extra almost 18 percent chance to find special zealots i don't think i'm gonna be keeping this pet because it's so expensive and i honestly just don't need it right now so I think after Jerry, I am going to sell it back. But hopefully it's going to be able to boost my special zealot luck by a little bit for the time that Jerry is still here. All right, I wasn't recording, but I did just hit combat 31. I now also have more than 55,000 zealot kills. And I got a bunch of summoning eyes, but I'm not selling them right now because they're under 1 million coins. And I'm going to wait until the Diana perks are back in the rotation because then the price should go up to like 1.2 or maybe even 1.3 mil. So I'll make some extra money then. Of course, I've also been using the mythic enderman pet for a little bit now and i'm not sure if i notice the extra percentage in some cases i do get back to back summoning eyes pretty quickly but i also do still have long dry streaks just like i had without the imam pet so i'm not really sure i do the okay there we go yeah i do think i noticed the increase in special zealots a little bit but hey it's still a little bit of an increase for me and i can just sell the pet back when i don't need it anymore after jerry there's also going to be atrox as mayor so then the price should maybe even increase a little bit 
So maybe I'll be able to sell the pet for a little bit of profit. Okay, there's still like two days of Jerry left. But I'm honestly sick of Zelda Bruiser grinding. I've been doing it so much. So yeah, the Zelda Bruiser grinding is coming to an end for me. I still have about 40 million coins worth of summoning eyes. And I sold the extra set of Final Destination armor that I was leveling up for about 40 million coins per piece. So once that sells plus the summoning eyes, that's almost an extra 100 million coins, which is absolutely insane. And the next perks are going to be Aatrox. And when the Aatrox perks are here, I want to get all my slayers to level 6. So then I unlock Auto Slayer, which I want for the next mayor because the next mayor is going to be Aatrox. And when Aatrox is here, I want to grind the Sven 9. And I hope that I can drop two overfluxes. One to craft an overflux power orb and the other to sell for some coins. But I already did some preparing for Aatrox during my Jerry grind. And I bought a bunch of stuff. And the first things I want to claim are just some pieces of molten equipment. The attributes don't really matter because I can't really use any of the attributes. But I just want to see by how much these equipment pieces are going to increase my damage. They're also very cheap. They're like 1.5 to 2.5 mil each. So with my current equipment pieces, which is basically trash, and the level 85 common griffin, I'm dealing about 73k. 72.5 and if i now use my new equipment pieces then i am now dealing 81,000. okay that is a pretty solid upgrade but i think it's also time my armor gets an upgrade i want to buy some crimson armor because crimson is a pretty good armor set it's actually the best in the game for melee if you level it up correctly this has life regeneration 4 it's 3 million coins i don't know life regeneration 4 sounds decent so i'm gonna buy it this chest plate also has life regeneration as well as hot potato but it's 3.5 million coins so i guess i'll just get that as well and the cheapest leggings are 2 million coins the next leggings are 4 million coins so i'm just gonna buy these and i'll just get this helmet for 2 million coins but i think it's better to just use my tarantula helmet so let's see with my current setup 81k damage if i now swap over to my crimson setup i'm dealing 77 okay and if i now put my tarantula helmet on my crimson 79k okay but that actually doesn't mean that the crimson is worse by the way i'm recording this during editing right now because in the actual recording i just didn't explain this well enough but the more kills you get with crimson armor you can get up to 10 stacks which is displayed at the bottom of your screen and when you have 10 stacks it attacks nearby mobs and that is not cleave because i'm doing this with a sword without enchants and besides that it also deals massive damage which i'm gonna display on a tier 5 rev right now it's actually better if i display it on a mini boss so he has 600k hp and if i hit him once that basically did all its damage it takes your actual damage and like triples it or something i don't know it's really weird but you can deal an absolute ton of damage with it so yeah that is why crimson is so op and if you're wondering how i just did a tier 5 rev back in that recording i was cap like level 58 but right now i'm already level 153 the videos are a little bit behind but i'm working on catching up so just give me some time but the way you make crimson armor good is by upgrading it you upgrade it through putting stars on it so i want to put some stars on this set and then see by how much that increased my damage there you go upgrade items 30 crimson essence to put one star okay that's only 30k i'm just gonna buy 2000 crimson essence real quick for 3 million coins and i'll just see how far that gets me all right it's now five starred and i'm also gonna put five stars on the leggings there we go that's also five starred and of course i'm gonna put five stars on the boots as well and there we go but you can actually go higher than five stars on these pieces so i'm just gonna see how much the six star is okay that's doable and now i need heavy pearls thankfully i've already gotten some heavy pearls there we go okay 70 crimson essence two heavy pearls and a quarter of a million coins and the next star is gonna be half a million coins i don't think i'm gonna do that yet that is now eight stars i think i'm gonna get the rest of my pieces to eight stars as well all right there we go eight stars on the leggings and eight stars on the boots and somebody also just bought another piece of the final destination armor nice i didn't touch my helmet yet i might put some stars on that as well you know what i'll just five star the helmet real quick because it doesn't cost too much and there we go hopefully that increased my damage a little bit okay that's pretty decent i was dealing like 79 and a half thousand earlier i think let's also just test the damage with my crimson helmet real quick with the crimson helmet i am dealing 81k okay but this is actually not the set i'll be using during my slayer grind at least not during my sven slayer grind when i want to drop overfluxes because for rare drops like overfluxes you obviously want magic find 
So I spent some money on a magic find setup. First off, of course, being Sorrow Armor. Three of the pieces are ancient and one is renowned. I didn't really care whether it was ancient or renowned. I just got whatever was the best price. I did make sure they had a decent amount of the gemstone slots unlocked though, because then I can also use them for mining in the future. I got the whole Sorrow set for like about 30 mil. I forgot if the last slot is purely for Topaz or if you can put anything in there. Okay, no, you can put anything in there. So then I'm just gonna buy four fine jobs real quick for 300k and then the leggings i'm gonna take the fine topaz out because i don't need it right now and with these fine jaspers i'm gonna get six strength per piece so when i'm doing slayers that should help out just a little bit and there we go all the pieces now have a fine jasper but obviously the most important part is an extra five magic find per piece so with the full sorrow set you're getting an extra 20 magic find but of course i couldn't stop there i bought this griffin pet which gives me an extra 8.5 magic find currently but i can boost the amount of magic find it gives me with this item called a lucky clover i bought it for 5 million coins and it gives me an extra 7 magic find so i'm now gonna replace my combat exp boost with a lucky clover there we go. And if you're thinking it's dumb that I'm placing a Lucky Clover on a common pet, I'm gonna be crafting this pet into its legendary variant eventually either way. And if you're wondering why I didn't get a black cat, it's because they're like 50 to 60 mil. But yeah, this Griffin pet is now giving 15.5 magic find, meaning I now have a total magic find of 161. But I still wanna go just a little bit higher. So I also spent 28 million coins on a Daedalus axe. And what this axe does, it copies the stats of your pet. So why while I have my griffin equipped, this is also going to give 15.5 magic find. So this now gives me 178.71 magic find. And one of Aatrox's perk is an extra 20% chance to get rare drops. So with that, I think my magic find is going to be over 200. But this Daedalus axe could use a little bit of an upgrade. It's missing a lot of enchants. First, I'm gonna buy Siphon 4 for 780,000 coins. That was a little expensive, but it's worth it. And I'm gonna buy Lux 6 for 10,000 coins. Looting four for seven thousand coins and scavenger four for two thousand coins and if i now combine these books i can put them on for 120 levels so there we go and i'm now gonna spend some time getting the remaining enchants from the enchanting table but that is going to be it for this video i'm sorry if this video maybe wasn't as entertaining as the last one i've been pretty busy lately so i wasn't able to edit this as well as i would have been able to if i had more time but i was able to accomplish quite a bit in this video and i got some more exciting grinds and lots of money making coming up soon so i hope you guys are excited for that be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i hope you guys have a good day goodbye